Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Today we'll be uh, taking a look at the Crock-Pot Go electric lunchbox. I did not know that these were a thing, that they existed. Um, the only reason I know about this is because uh, somebody was doing some work for me and they left theirs uh, on the job. And I seen this, and I seen it was made by Crock-Pot, and I was like, okay, let's see how much it is. If it's cheap, I'll buy it. And it was like 31 bucks or something like that. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I could use this somewhere. I, it was, <laughs> I bought this for the novelty more than anything because it's like 30 bucks. I don't know. You know, it's like I've got a little experience with slow cookers. And I'm not sure if this goes, you know, to full slow cooker temperature. It doesn't actually say anywhere. I've kind of looked up. That little sucker has been flying around in my camper for quite some time and he's gone. So anyhow, I've already kind of looked around this and I I haven't seen any temperature quotes or I don't know if you can actually cook in this or if it's literally just warm enough to, to eat lunch. You know, you already have the cooked food, you throw it in the, the crock pot go electric lunch box and away you go or something. I don't know, let's, let's check this out. You know, I haven't actually you know, gotten into it uh, press down on lid while unlocking. Okay, fair enough. Easy enough, right? Oh, it's got a little handle. <laughs> That's freaking cool, man. Okay, so um, we got. Oh, okay. It was just it was just kind of stuck. It's okay. It's okay. It was just just kind of stuck here. Owner's manual. Do we really need an owner manual? What is this? Uh. Oh, it's a it's a pressure vent. Okay, that's cool. Unlock. Oh, that's that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that must be a rubber gasket. Oh, I bet you put the rubber gasket probably like around this or something. I, just, I don't know. I mean, I could probably just RTFM, but like, what's the what's the fun in that? I mean, this just it looks right, right? I mean, you just you do something like that. It's usually the way things go, and then you does it matter which way these things go on? Probably. I guess I, I think it only goes on one way. And then you take that like so, and I would dare say that's assembled correctly. Awesome. Pretty sure that's that's the way you do it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's a that's a good seal right there. Yeah, that seal is definitely on right. So let's take a look at the the unit a little more here. I mean. I guess we can flip through the manual just for the fun of it, see if there's anything interesting in here. Yeah, always read the instructions before using the product. Do not place near wet surfaces or heat sources such as gap. Okay, this is just, don't be stupid. Fantastic. Okay. Woohoo, look at that. Okay, look at that stuff and things. Nothing interesting there. You'd have to be an idiot to not know how to use a, a crock pot. So, uh, the cord is detachable, which originally I, I was going to buy one that had an attached cord. Then I was reading the comments or the uh, the reviews, I guess. And they were like, yeah, um, it's great and all, but I really wish I could detach the cord so I didn't have to carry this thing from the counter to the table with the cord dangling off. So, this is exactly the one I got. You know, the one without the cord, based on some random reviews recommendation. So this doesn't want to come out. Oh, I'm I'm bending that. Mm. Uh, this is not right. This is absolutely not the way to do this. But uh, <laughs> it just fell out. I just kind of had a feeling that that was going to work, though. So what kind of power does this thing draw? So we're rated at 60 watts. Okay, 60 watts. It's not insulated. I assume this is probably the heating element right here. Caution to prevent damage or shock hazard. Warm in food container provided. Do not immerse in liquid. Don't be stupid, stupid. Okay, we got some power indicators up here on the front. I think we're ready to just plug this sucker in. Let's see what happens here. So I've got a, a plug on my desk right here. We got three power LEDs that are seem to be blinking maybe it's just the power grid I'm, I'm seeing i have no way to prove that i'm i'm watching it blink but yeah i'm pretty sure those are not smooth eh, that's irrelevant is this heating up Ooh, oh shit that's that's hot i have no way to prove that it's hot it's hot trust me that is freaking hot okay 
That's good, right? I and mean, we should probably just, you know, unplug. Well, actually, no, we don't have to unplug that there. We can unplug that there. Sweet. Okay, let's put some food in this, man. I mean, this is going to be freaking cool. All right, so this just kind of go. Well, actually, we should probably put the food in. I should probably wipe this out at the very least. Who knows what's been in this thing? I'm getting too excited. I'll be back in a second. And we are back. Uh, I didn't really use soap on this. I probably should have used soap, but I, I didn't use any soap. Um, I have a microwavable dinner here. It's frozen. I wonder how long this is going to take to thaw out. I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool. You know, you, yeah, the problem with microwave or frozen dinners, I guess, is the edge is always... Wow, this is, this is not opening well. Well, I guess I'm used to opening these when they're warm. They, they come off a lot easier when they're warm. Anyhow, you know, like I was saying, the problem with frozen dinners is they always, like, burn on the sides and whatnot, so it's like... Uh, look, I'm I'm not going to put the corn in it's just because, I don't know, I don't want corn in my mashed potatoes. But uh, we'll just pick the corn out for a second and we'll pick all this out. We'll try to get this, this, this mashed potatoes and chicken in here. Um, this is going to require a couple more brain cells than I have available at the moment. Um, stab, stab. I anticipated this going a little smoother, I'm not going to lie. You ever just do something and think to yourself, man, this is incredibly stupid. Yeah, this is not one of those moments. Um, I'm afraid that this isn't going to... Yeah, I'm just stabbing right next to my... Next to my finger here. That's That's fine, right? That's... That's fine. Cool. Get this right down in there. <laughs> this is not how this is designed to be used. <laughs> uh, it's fine though, right? It's fine. This is fine. Oh. <laughs> so I want to close all the way. We're just going to push that. Oh, we're gonna... Actually, we're not doing it right. There we go. Okay. All right. Lock. <laughs> It's gonna be great. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything is gonna be fine. Remember, you gotta you gotta push down, and then we're good. Look at it. We got a frozen dinner in a crockpot lunchbox. Good times, people. Good times. Let's just um, let's plug this in, and uh, we're just gonna set this and it's all of its 60 watts of glory, kind of off to the side. Get, get over. God damn it! I'm losing to a cord. Okay. I'll come back in like, what time is it? Oh, damn it, I just want you to swipe down from the, God, technology, swipe, da what, what? <sighs> Fine, I guess, you know what? I don't need to know what time it is. It's a little after, here's a watch. Quarter after seven. I'll be back about 7.30. We'll, uh, we'll have a peek in there and see if it's uh, actually doing anything. In the meantime, I'm gonna heat this up and eat the corn. Okay. Everybody, it's quarter to eight. It's been about a half hour. I haven't looked inside, but I have the finest eating utensils you can get in a camping trailer. Actually, I think I hear it bubbling maybe inside? Yeah, it's definitely bubbling in there. It's actually kind of off-gassing some not-so-pleasant smells, but uh, we'll forget that for a moment, I guess. Let's get this off. Yeah, it definitely smells like hot plastic. I'm curious if it feels... Okay, the sides are not warm. The bottom... The bottom's a little warm. But the sides are not. I'm surprised. This is definitely a little on the warm side. Oh, we got uh, frost right there. Look, Or uh, a little condensation. So that tells me that this is where the chicken is. This side's actually burning the shit out of me. Let's take this off. See what we got. This is actually, like, actually pretty cold. Is it coming? Oh, yeah, that seal is... There we go. Um, I mean, it's still frozen. <laughs> Definitely still frozen. 
Um, the chicken is thawed. That's good. The gravy's on its way. I mean, it looks like it's kind of drying out right there, but... Hmm. Is one side hotter than the other? I'm not going to touch that hot plate. Actually, mmm, that actually burned the hell out of me. Actually, this side might be a little hotter. Yeah, I think that side's just like a little bit hotter. So, let's put all this back in. Oh, no weird taste or anything. I don't know, let's give it another half hour. Maybe I'll come back at uh, quarter after eight. Eventually, I'm going to want to eat my food. <laughs> and we'll get there eventually. And lock. Lock. Now, I'm going to put it in this way with the uh, mashed potatoes on what might be the hotter side. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe I'm imagining it, but I have no way to uh, to tell for sure. Okay. Let's... Um, it's, it's, this, this cord is just killing me here. It's not a very flexible cord. I'll be back. All right, round two. It's uh, about 8.30. Let's, uh, let's check this out, see where we're at. I'm not hearing so much bubbling this time around. Still have that, um, that sort of off-gassing smell. It's like a plasticky smell. But that's probably going to happen for a while. I mean, it's a, it's a new product. What do you do? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, it's a lot hotter this time. That's good. Am I not doing this right? Oh. <laughs> I don't think I actually locked it. Let's check for condensation. No condensation this time. Cold spots? No cold spots. The entire bottom is uh, really, really hot. That is a fairy pleasant aroma oh look at what we got going on here completely thawed out chicken is completely thawed oh that is way better than the microwave there's a bunch of burnt oh that's hot Oh, that is, that is freaking hot, man. Woo! Did not expect that. This is very good, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat dinner. It's delicious. Let's see uh, how hard this is to... Ooh, gotta turn on my water here. Uh, we'll start with this, because this really isn't that dirty. This will give the hot water a chance to get here. Just gonna rinse that off and call that good. Um, it's a little pasty at the bottom. The mashed potatoes got a little pasty, but nothing that seems too concerning. I mean, this is definitely a, uh, a, a, a well, what, 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 what would I say here? This is definitely not non-stick. We'll go with that. But I mean, it is, it is coming right out. And then it, uh, it basically looks good as new. Little bit of heat staining right there. And by heat staining, I mean the, uh, the, uh, the metal has changed colors just slightly. That's fine, though. I, I'm not sure if that'll show on the camera, but... Man, this thing's pretty damn cool. We'll just put these out. Let them air dry. I don't want it to get funky. Now, how hard is it to wind this cord back up? How did this go? I think this went in here like this. And I think it was just wrapped around. Oh, this could end up being a little fiddly. Yeah, this is a little on the fiddly side. We'll get it though. Slow and steady. And then the end just, I guess, sits in there like that? I'm not sure. Oh, I guess you can kind of put it sideways. Okay, so that's now taken care of. This thing seems pretty robust. Um, 
Yeah, it's it's still cooling down. This it definitely takes a little bit to cool down. About an hour to cook a uh, dinner, and honestly, that was uh, probably the best I have ever tasted that specific uh, you know frozen dinner meal. I would 100% do that again, and I think I am going to do that again for tomorrow night's dinner. I will say, uh, when I got this, though, uh, one of these rubber feet came off. So that, that seems like kind of an annoyance. It was kind of uh, in the bottom of the box. But I was able to uh, just take it, push it back in. You can see that it wasn't damaged or anything. It just somehow came out. Maybe I can pull one of these out to, to show you. It's just a little rubber. Yeah, I don't... Oh, yep, it came right out. You see that? There's like a... Like a, like a pin, almost. I don't even know. They, I'm not going to be able to get that to focus. But basically, these just uh, there's little holes here. You take them and you push them right back in. Um, these are probably going to get lost. You, you've seen that that did, it did. It fought me a little bit, but it did come out. And uh, obviously, I had one come out in shipping, like I was saying. So, <sighs> it's 30 bucks. It's pretty damn cool. Crockpot. Um, on the go? I don't know. I forgot what it was called. Pretty cool, though.